So a few harsh realities at the moment. Palestine is still under horrendous condition. Genocide is happening. The ICJ, International Courts of Justice, is taking its time. You have Africa and an Irish lawyer defending, an Irish lawyer defending another nation. The British are sat quiet, the Americans are sat quiet, the French and the Germans and everybody else. And now they're all eyeing up Yemen because Yemen is preventing munitions and supplies going to Israel. So what are those greedy, greedy bastards going to do? The UK government, which you fuckers voted in, because I didn't, and the Americans, what are they going to do? They're going to attack Yemen. Why are they going to attack Yemen? Because, hey, we can't have those gas reserves off the coast of Gaza not being used. We have to carry on with that ethnic cleansing and wipe them bastards out because we want that and we want it and we need it. And we, the tax-paying public, are paying for their genocide. And now our tax money is going towards to wipe out and destroy the Yemeni people. Because they're the only ones standing up going, no, you can't come into our waters. You can't do that. Fuck off. It used to be called a blockade back in the day. It's not called a blockade anymore because it's the Jews, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God's chosen people yet again. Nothing chosen about them. Murdering. Apartheid. Genocidal wickedness. Supported by our very own UK government. Remember that. And all of a sudden, the UK government are all over the post office scandal. Well, why is that? Because it's fucking an election year. Do you think we're stupid? Rishi Sunak, message to you, boy. We don't need you. We don't want you. We don't want your government. You're racist. You're beyond racist. Come from a privileged background. You know nothing of the people. Nothing. Nothing. You have openly supported the mass slaughter of children in Palestine. May the devil take you and your family. You wicked, wicked man. And your cabinet, your government, I hope they all suffer in hell, man. Because any single person of your government is stood with you and tick that box to allow the genocide to keep on happening and have supplied munitions and weapons to the Zionist state of Israel, they deserve everything that's coming. I don't care if that's fucking illness, car crash or whatever, they deserve it. You deserve to be punished in this life and the next. Anyone who supports the Zionist state of Israel have no comprehension of what they're about. The wickedness that they've done. They have no comprehension. The manipulation and the deceiving that they have caused. And it's taken an African continent, South Africa, yeah, from the African continent, South Africa to stand up and go, no, because they know what it's like. And who else? Oh, the Irish. Why? Because we were the first fucking country colonized by the British. And 700 and plus years later, we got our freedom. But the North is still under the tyrannic boot of the UK. Because now it can't be given back because it'll fucking collapse. Because that's what Britain does. That's how it works. It's disgusting. The whole thing's fucking disgusting. I don't understand, right? We, the taxpaying public, you, the sensible taxpaying public, I want you to think about this. Millions and millions per day going over for munitions and aid to the Zionist state. Think about this, right? Not including the Ukraine. Then six million plus a day being spent on accommodation for illegal migrants, illegal immigrants. Illegal. Not coming through the correct channels, right? Not follow the procedures. And yet here in the United Kingdom, we have massive homelessness, degradation, 
NHS is on the point of fucking surrender, okay? Can't get a GP appointment because they can't be asked. Policing is at its worst ever in the history of the UK as being beyond ineffective. Incapable, which is embarrassing, okay? And we are paying for that. So we pay our national insurance, okay? And we pay our taxes. And then we have to pay council tax. We're being hit twice for services we do not get. And yet, you know, we are the first to give out aid and humanitarian aid. And I want you to think about this because I did a video not so long ago where I was literally stating, I was stating the fact of, <clears throat> you know, the UK public who who are supporting the Zionist state of Israel are now watching the genocide of children. And oh, we must give them aid, humanitarian aid. Who's it going to fucking go to? Who's it going to? Because most of them are dead now. Look at your own kids. Look at your own kids when you're taking them to school this morning or when they come home from school. Look at them. Imagine if they didn't make it to 10 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old. 14 years old. You'd be fucking devastated, wouldn't you? 